So two quality teams, and this can't emphasise enough how bright this makes the future of New Zealand women's sevens look. Athleticism, skill, and of course, Dan Bowden on the sideline. It comes down, a bit of stamina comes into it now because it's been a long, hard weekend. Well, it's going to be Howick to kick off. Nico Blunk is the referee, and the kickoff from Abby Lockhart of Howick. Well, goes through a bit of a settling down period, but they feel like they've really dodged the bullet. Now, here is Georgia Miller, and she's got great stepping ability. She's got great finishing speed. She was the hero of the semi final win, and they're not going to pull her in. She is a fantastic player. What a great prospect, Georgia Miller. She is absolutely fantastic. She stood out at the top four nationals this year, and she's been an absolute standout all weekend for Christchurch Girls High School. And the scary thing is, is she's still young. She'll still be back here for Christchurch Girls next year. Incredible individual brilliance there. Just the big left foot step. She's got a quite a unique way of stepping. She jumps up in the air, and then she just plants the foot and steps. You'll see here, jump and off the right hand and just accelerates. So both teams not given much room to move. Now the kick ahead, can that break up the oncoming defensive rush? Tofunga going back and doing well too, popping it up nicely. Oliver moving it on. Now they go for the kick downfield from Lockhart, and there's no one home at the back. And look at the speed of Nukirewa, the flying winger, and she's got it. Well, the referee wants to have a check here. The suggestion that there might have been a knock on. But she's an absolute flyer, Eleanor Mukirewa. Thank you. Try confirmed. You see it here. There's a kick through. It might have been from Lockhart. You can see Mukirewa just come into the corner here. Pinned her ears back. The chase came from Christchurch girls, but wow, what a finish. Just want to give a wrap quickly to Abby Lockhart. She was the one who saw that there was seven up, no sweeper, put the kick in. And Mukirewa was a speed, but she stands out. Abby Lockhart with her vision. Hard ground and hot temperatures. Oh, coming under a bit of pressure here, how Stacey Harrison trying to work the ball into a better part of the field. Now, I've got to make sure they clear it. Tunufai, it is, who's taken in the tackle. Who gets up with the ball but Georgia Miller, and she's in again for a hat trick. Howick, make the 10. Three make tries ten. for Georgia Miller in under eight minutes. Oh, Incredible cool. work. Well as you said, Dan, we're just running out of ways to describe her brilliance because she really has got the full package. She is a flanker in the 15-a-side game, so she's really good around the jackal area. She's got speed, she's got footwork, she's got it all. Now, there she is there. So, clear release, going in, copy book in the tackle situation, the quick tap, and over she goes. She's just a joy to watch. I just love seeing what she's bringing to the game of sevens. So, Helen O'Connor puts it in. Clears it away quickly to the left. Use tackle. the crash ball and uh, well, it was in the tackle. Yep. So they couldn't rip it away. Taken quickly by O'Connor. Turns around looking for someone. Oh, it's going to be a... Well, I think this might just be the final blow. Two minutes in the sin bin. Miller takes it, backs herself. She's got four! Georgia Miller. What else can we say? We just need to start saying Georgia Miller is the word for everything fantastic because that is what she's been doing. It's just incredible. That yep. yellow card, very costly for Howick. You can see there, just taps it. Made it very difficult to herself. She did have an overlap out to the left, but she decided to just have a go herself. Dan, what else can you say? And really just about finishing the job off now for this very good Christchurch Girls High School team. Howick will keep trying but oh gosh she's done it again oh she's gonna get five no she's gonna let someone in else in on the act salome nikal scores the try but guess who got the assist she did well to finish it off georgia miller what can i say gave the ball off unselfishly though to salome nikal can see here just tries to run it straight and look at Georgia Miller, she stays so strong. She gets an elbow to the face, and she, she's not phased at all. She's very tough, and look, drawing pass out there. She throws the dummy first. 
and just great work to get it out to her winger who did well to finish in the corner. They move it across field. Good, efficient defence though from Christchurch girls. Brown, they bring it back the other way. Knockdown. Or oh, this will be a yellow card for Mia Cochran. Yeah, she just didn't even wait for the roof to stick his hand up. Just went straight to the sideline. Tap by Tukfunga. She tried everything. And she's got to try. Reward for her for a sterling effort in the final. Leanne Tufunga, the captain of Howick, scores. Well, she's been great this whole weekend, has Tufunga. She's already been identified by the Auckland Academy system. She's just got it all as well. Very talented and good way to finish for her team. You know, to come this far after losing so many players, as Dan said, 10 players are still coming back next year. Final whistle has gone. Great celebration for Christchurch Girls High. What a wonderful performance. Brilliant Georgia Miller, but the whole team, right from the word go, have looked quite outstanding this weekend. They had to fight their way into the final with that extra time thriller against Hamilton Girls High. But a new name goes on to the Women's Trophy. The Girls' Cup has gone to Christchurch Girls for the first time. 29-14, four tries by Georgia Miller. And I'll well, take the opportunity to get a word. Dan Bowden standing by with the name on everyone's lips at the moment, Georgia Miller. Joined here just by Georgia Miller. Georgia, four tries, that's outstanding. Talk me through your feelings after that. Oh, well, I'm just overwhelmed. The team's put in all the effort, worked hard to get here. We finally made it, so just really happy. Oh, outstanding, Georgia. You've been one of the clear standouts over the weekend. Congratulations on your win. All the best.